So one of the reasons behind writing uh, the book Write Like This was the concern that I have that the, the kinds of writing the kids are getting in the classroom is really focused on what I would call more fake school writing. Um, I'm really more concerned about developing kids who will write 10 and 20 years from now. So uh, rather than just simply write literary analysis, I'm more interested in perhaps kids writing Amazon reviews or writing uh, their lawmakers. Um, so one of the things I try very hard in this book is to bring kids real world models, uh, the kinds of writing they will do uh, in their adulthood. Write Like This spins out of an earlier book I wrote uh, called Teaching Adolescent Writers and in that book there's one chapter where I talk about real world purposes for writing. In the real world, we write to inform and explain, or we write to take a stand. Uh, and so there are a number of real world purposes that I think sort of get short shrift uh, in our school system. And so what I've done in Write Like This is I've taken many of those real world purposes and uh, have kind of spread that out into an entire book uh, by taking each one uh, and uh, to, to, to make up a chapter. And each chapter for each of the real writing purposes, uh, I've surrounded kids with, with models, uh, real world models from professional writers uh, and uh, writing that I've done myself in my classroom as I believe very strongly uh, that, that teachers need to compose in front of the kids. I, I think it's done a lot in the early years, K, K3, K4, uh, but I think as kids get closer to fifth grade, middle school, and high school, that they actually need a teacher in that room. Uh, the teacher in that room is the best writer in the room, and the best writer in the room needs to, to model how he or, he or she does it. Um, I think a lot of times we give our kids a false idea uh, of how writing comes to be. I mean, my, my kids think that when I go home and write, I just stretch you know, a couple of these and, and I just spill it out. And so what I believe in, in Write Like This is I've taken each of the real world purposes and for each one of them I show them how I do it as, as the teacher standing in the classroom and then I show them how Rick Riley does it or Leonard Pitts or um, uh, you know, some of the real world writers that, that, that I think uh, are very good models for, for my adolescent writers. I think there's a real big difference between uh, assigning uh, writing and, and teaching of writing. And, and if we're going to be effective teachers of writing, I think it all starts with modeling. Uh, when I coached high school basketball and I had a, uh, a kid who had a funky shot or shot a knuckleball, you know, I wouldn't just yell at him, you know, put backspin on the ball. I would say to him, please come stand next to me. Now watch me as I hold the ball in my hand watch how I spin it out of my hand, watch this, watch this, watch this, and then hand him the ball and say, now you go. And that's how we learn. We stand next to somebody who already knows how to do it, and we, we observe carefully. Uh, I'm mindful of writing next, which is the most comprehensive study of secondary writing done in the last 25 years. And uh, you know, they, it's a meta-analysis meta of over 100 studies. Uh, and they looked at what works and one of the central tenets of that study is that kids need models, models, models. You know, I don't care if you're learning how to weight tables or you're learning how to repair a refrigerator. Uh, the way you learn how to do that is you stand next to somebody who knows how to do it and then you study that person and then you emulate that person. And so right like this, what, what I've done is I've I've put my kids next to people who know how to write in the various real world discourses and we pay close attention to what professional writers do and then we emulate them and the kids pay close attention to what I do and then they emulate me. Now, I think kids need both levels of modeling. They need to stand next to professional writers and they also need to stand next to uh, the best teacher in the the best writer in the room, the teacher. I know this idea of actually standing in front of your, your kids and, and composing is actually terrifying 
to many teachers. Uh, it, it takes a lot of courage to, to show your kids that you're not Superman or Superwoman. But I would say that the act, on actual days when I get up on, in front of my kids and write, where it doesn't just flow for me, that those days are actually uh, more valuable for my kids to see. Uh, it dispels this notion that, that writing just magically comes out, that, that you either have a writing gene or you're missing the writing gene. And so there are days I, I write in front of my kids and I write pretty well. And there are days that I write in front of my kids and it, it doesn't come at all. And I think those days where I'm really struggling as a writer is actually more valuable for my kids to see than, than days when it's flowing freely. I think it's really important for teachers to stand in front of their kids and show that, that, that this, this thing we call writing is, is a difficult process and, and some days it flows and some days it, it doesn't.